Mental math tricks for addition count up by place value. When adding numbers mentally in our head, we do it differently than when we add on paper. On paper, we first add the ones place in case we need to regroup the ones as tens. On paper, we would add the ones columns first and 7 plus 5 is 12, we would regroup the 10 into the tens column, put down our two ones, then we would add the tens column. That's on paper. That's not the case in mental math. There's several different methods that we can use, and one method for mental math is to start from the first add end and count up. So we would start with the 17 and count up 15 more. We can break this into a 10 and a 5, so we would think 17 plus 10 more would be 27, and 5 more th from that would be 27 plus 5, and we can think 27 needs 3 to be a 30. We can split this 5 into a 3 and a 2, make a 30 plus 2, it's 32. We break the 5 apart as a 3 plus 2 to make 27 plus 3 is 30, and then add the 2. Did you see how I did that? This is a method of breaking apart an add-in to make it a more compatible number to add. We learned that back in second grade math. I'm going to have a link to some of those videos in this description. We can add large numbers, too. If we need to add 234 plus 164, we start with the 234, and we break this into a 100, a 60, and a 4. We start by adding the 100. So do you see how we're not starting in the ones place? Because we're thinking this in our head. We're not using paper. We're imagining this in our head to add this completely in our head, mental math. So we think 234 plus one more hundred would be 334. Now we need to add six tens and four ones. So we can add 334 and 60 would get us 394. And now we add the four ones. We have 398 for our sum. No paper. This is completely mental math. Now we need to add 580 plus 360. We start with the 580, the first add-in, and we think we need to add three hundreds to this. So 580 plus 300 is 880. Now we can add this 60, 880 plus 60. We can break this 60 into a 20 plus 40, since 880 only needs 20 more to become a 900. Now we have 900 plus 40, it equals 940. Now I know this can be very hard to do at first, but once you get used to it, you'll start going quicker and you'll be amazed how you will be able to add using mental math. Let's try another. This one might be a little easier since we're going to add a smaller amount, a lesser amount. We start with the 275. That's our first add end, and we think 275 plus a 10 and a 2. 275 plus a 10 would be 285, and now we just add the 2, we have 287. Here we have 425 plus 251. We start with the first add end, 425, and we think we need to add 200 to it. 425 plus 200 is 625. Now we can add the 50 and 625, that's two tens plus five more tens would be seven tens. We have 675. Now we just need to add the one, we have 676. Do you see how I did that? I started with the first add in and slowly added each place value counting up from this first add-in. Now, third grade math lesson 1.4 has more information about this mental math trick. I went over this, and I'll have a link to that in the description also.
Here we have a word problem. Jim wants to buy a shirt for $25 and a hat for $15. How much do they cost together? So imagine if you're at the store, you don't have pencil and paper, you don't have a calculator on you, and you want to buy something for $25 and something else for $15, and you want to make sure you have enough money. You can do it in your head. You can use mental math. You start with the $25, and $15 is a 10 and a 5, so we add 10 onto the 25 and get 35 and think, now we just need 5 more. That would be $40. Let's try this one. Ray saved $145 in March and $52 in April. How much did he save in all? We start with the $145 from March and we add 50 to it. That's five tens to the four tens. Five plus four is nine. That's going to give us nine tens. So we know we have 100, nine tens. Now it did have five ones. All we need to do is add the other two ones and we know that Ray saved $197. We started with the first add-in, and we added 50, and then we added 2. And we can figure it out using mental math. There's another way that we can use mental math for addition. We're going to learn how we can round the numbers. We're rounding them off. Then we're going to subtract to find a sum. And that sounds tricky, doesn't it? I'll show you how in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.